Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at Corteva in the chemicals industry, just under 38 billion mark market cap, just over 38 billion enterprise value. Operating the agriculture business through two segments, seed and crop protection. Been around for a while, I presume. It says 2018. That's not true, but growth is going to be pretty lackluster as we see here, averaging maybe 2 to 5% year-over-year year revenue growth with a 40-plus percent gross margin and 10% recently operating margin. Just started paying a dividend, and it is a pretty substantial amount in relation to their earnings per share. Pretty poor return on invested capital, however. But with a return on equity and return on invested capital this close, there's likely not a lot of debt here. Does show a, a good amount of R&D. So about $1.3 billion is going to research and development, which is almost 10% of revenue. Balance sheet shows $2.7 billion cash-like products with $197 million short-term debt and $2.3 billion long-term debt. Honestly, that cash in relation to debt, I'm pretty comfortable with. So no concern for me on that balance sheet. Capital expenditures with cash flow. So cash from operations is pretty volatile, honestly. And capital expenditures are actually down a little bit. Okay. Act one, one large net acquisition. A lot of share repurchases, a dividend that pays out 1.2% and is no more than roughly 30% of their free cash flow. I guess, yeah, probably more than that actually because this free cash flow is wrong because the capital expenditures are here. So that's actually a good dividend in relation to free cash flow almost maybe 40, 40 to 50%. That's pretty big. And then, like I said, a lot of, a lot of sherry purchases, big acquisition, issued a little bit of debt for it. This will be, this will be interesting. All right. So let's start, let's start making our assumptions here. Probably looking at pretty lackluster growth here. Three. I mean, they've been around for some time, but that growth and return on best of capital do not deserve a market average PE and price free cash flow in my eyes. And then I think a five and 6% to me seems reasonable given their historical averages being as volatile as they are. Share repurchases 1% for them is about 380 million. I mean, it's 2% is about 760. It's kind of a lot, but they just do one and a half meet in the middle. Do about 600 mil, 600 million for them should be about 50%. I guess this isn't leaving a lot of room for acquisitions, so I'm not going to raise this dividend. So we're assuming maybe 20% acquisition, uh, debt pay down, reinvestment, 50%, uh, almost 50% share repurchases, and then you know 30 to 40% to dividend. So with these assumptions, it's going to need to fall pretty heavy. To me, this is not nearly close to obviously cheap to where I'd be wanting to waste my time to do more research on it. I want things to be screaming deals at me. So this, I'm just not seeing it right now. Hope you enjoy the video and have a great day. Thanks.